Hi, I am back now and we will now be doing um, portfolio returns. We will calculate, compute the portfolio returns. Um, let's say bold. So for that reason, I've just copied the names of the stocks, stock tickers, and let's put here weights. Yeah. The reason I put weights is we would like to decide how much of our cash uh, will be in allocating to Goldman Sachs and how much of it will go to Walmart, Walmart and how much to how much to BA and what is going to be the fraction of cash that's going to Microsoft. Now in total let's say we have a one amount of sort of an amount that is 100% amount, one pound. What fraction of it well, I'm going to input? Um, the question is what fraction of this amount of cash I'm going to allocate to each of these um, stocks. Now the formula we know it from our class is this that the return of portfolio is the return from the first asset times the weight of the asset return from the second times the weight of the second asset and this will go on to n assets yeah you can generalize it into n assets so basically this is the, the return of the goldman sachs in this case uh, we have it we calculated every return but we haven't decided yet how much cash to allocate into W, I mean into this uh, stock and also the same here this is for Walmart so average returns for Walmart but how much cash to allocate to Walmart we haven't decided yet and this last one would be the last stock, fourth stock we have I don't remember what it was but yeah Microsoft so you could so w the, the, now the weights should sum up to one so weights these are just fractions of cash that we have that should sum up to 100% or 1 in other words yeah so it could be the case that we allocate 0.70 or 70% of our cash to Goldman Sachs 0.055% uh, into Walmart and into BA we might put our 10% and 5% to to uh, to the stock of Microsoft and then they all sum up to now to get sum up to sorry this is 20 I must say sum up to 1 now yeah 100 so that's now the alloc decision now is how much to put into these stocks um, in this case Excel helps us basically because we are going to optimize the portfolio uh, that we are going to create we will use something called Excel solver function which allows us it allows us to do this optimization analysis so what we need for this is the average returns these are ours and all we need is now weights here that needs to be allocated now somewhere here let's type let's type portfolio return I just let's say average return or let's say mean P easier because I didn't want to um, let's be let's be more clear let's be more clear portfolio return yeah portfolio return and portfolio is the standard deviation sorry let's have variance it's actually variance rather and then standard deviation is the is is the square root of variance which i will calculate at some point now portfolio return because we have four assets and we are using mu uh, mul matrix multiplication approach to do this uh, we will allow um, we will be using multi uh, sort of uh, mmult function yeah so for the portfolio return it's equal mm that's the double click now highlight the returns highlight the returns where are they here yeah. highlight the returns comma now highlight weights now at the moment we don't have the weights so we leave them for now because we will ask uh, it's a solver, solver to decide how much return we should have there so control shift enter for now it says value that's perfectly fine next portfolio variance for this uh, we will do the same mmul function we will be using that function and we need the in this case weights we need the weights and this here yeah variance covariance ratio so weights basically it's gonna be transpose transpose the weights 
transpose the weights close the bracket comma now we have to multiply mmult the variance covariance matrix by the weights so comma again and weights one more time close the bracket and one more time yeah two brackets because I, I opened one here and control shift enter control shift enter done next thing is the standard deviation is then okay let's leave it for now now what we want is now ask solver given this formula that we input and given the data here that we calculated what are the weights here yeah solver should give us the weights and give us the minimum standard deviation and maximum or given I mean, the return for that uh, commensurate I, sh I should say return for this um, for this standard deviation so the idea here is to minimize this as much as possible given and then get the weights here yeah so let's go and get the uh, solar function I don't have it here it should really appear here and uh, now if you have uh, uh, if you have Windows version of uh, office then this will be a good guide as well so go to to install it go to file options and you have to go to add-ins so Excel add-ins go <coughs> and tick solar add-in here it is now click it objective is is this standard deviation variance standard deviation or variance portfolio variance is the objective here and you'd like to minimize it so click minimize by changing so by changing variables of these and so I'd like to, I mean I'm asking Excel give this some values these cells for four of the cells uh, so that this would be the minimum value but I have to add a constraint such that the sum of these values that I want here will be equal to one so add so subject to constraints add the cell reference this one thing here is equal to one add now okay now another thing I want to okay cancel it because I added it doesn't want to give now another thing I want to do is actually one thing I didn't I, I forgot to do was this thing usually I, I, I forgot to put the sum function here so I'm gonna cancel this cancel this because what I want is sum of all this should be equal to one isn't it yeah it is this is what I want sum of all the fractions all the weights should be equal to one so I'll just input that formula at the moment it's zero because we haven't got anything in this four cells so now I go back I should save everything yeah this should save it's there it's changing 84 to 87 and the cell here should be equal to one done and minimize uh, g84 right yep yep done now let's give it solve done that's interesting keep solar okay interesting thing is that um, Goldman Sachs we are not going to put anything into Goldman Sachs shares but we'll allocate equal fractions of cash into Walmart BA and Microsoft shares that gives us this uh, portfolio variance which is very low which is good but also gives us this portfolio return now what we are interested in is basically portfolio standard deviation so if you square root take the square root of portfolio variance it should give you the portfolio standard deviation and this is what we want now that's the end of calculations computations of portfolio return and portfolio standard deviations uh, you will calculate in this fashion you see as, as I, I told you earlier it is not that difficult so you calculate by adding the next stock here so you just open the next worksheet paste whatever you have already got here into the next worksheet yeah paste it 
and add the next stock and carry on doing the same analysis yeah it, it's it's just pretty standard just you keep doing it I mean if you split the job between three of you guys I mean everyone contribute equal shares then it will be like something like 10 stock each done so that's it um, for this stock um, I I won't be able to comparing I won't be able to compare it with anything because it's just I don't have any other benchmark to compare however what I could also do is I mean you see this is sum is equal to one I could just for a for a comparison just to make it more interesting let me copy this back into here this is equal I would say this is called e um, solver result yeah solver let, let's call it, let's call it optimal result yeah this is optimal result solver give us the optimum result for a given variance so let's say instead of following optimum result advice of solver I would do what I would do is I will this I decided to invest exactly the same fraction of cash into each of these into each of these uh, stocks given that I have few more minutes to go I'll just talk about that let's say I'm gonna divide all my cash split all my cash equally and in uh, over over the fall of four assets so this would then give me 0.25 right here 0.25 there 0.20 oops not 25 not 25 so that's equal exactly equal to one and I just spread my cash equally um, among uh, over this over this um, uh, assets now notice what happened my portfolio variance kind of or standard deviation kind of increased you see under solvers optimum result we had lower variance standard deviation, so lower risk of portfolio and also uh, lower uh, sorry as higher higher return but if I do my own kind of way of allocating my assets and allocate it as I wished and what I have is uh, not only high uh, risk uh, not only high risk I will face but also low return from that lower return fractional low return you see it's 0 0.068 this is 0 0.062 under my own allocation scheme so it turns out I should follow really what uh, what uh, solver uh, kind of uh, gave me as, a, as an optimal result we can we can try this way now I mean maybe allocating less to Goldman Sachs gives us improved results yeah so let me highlight this so these are the two important points like standard so this is an average return this is average variation in the portfolio so this is the risk so maybe I'll put more let's say and then I'll put obviously less of this so that oh, so this should equal to one all the time and notice that my standard deviation is not portfolio standard which is a huge now it's double this amount so but my uh, the the my my return didn't double so this is a bad portfolio choice yeah I should basically follow follow what optimal portfolio is, is telling me and uh, I mean maybe I put more put less here so what we have here is 85 so what's left is 25 this could be another portfolio but again um, my low my returns are low although my uh, st standard deviation low my returns are low so there is optimal portfolio and that is solver optimized so we will stick to this one so we go back to the uh, back end and ask solver to do this again for us so um, just go to data so and this is a process of portfolio optimization click solve done um, this time it's giving me slightly different result but interestingly it's actually reduced it has also reduced my uh, return for some reason um, well solver tend to do this for some reason I don't know why uh, let's have a look at uh, okay let's select this it, do we have this in the yeah, app in place yes cancel it for now do we have this in place yes do we have this in the right place so 84 B 84 what's B 84 um, no really we want to we want to minimize this it's not that one okay yeah it's again giving me slightly different result and let's try it one more time that's interesting um, I remember solver did change its uh, results every time I used it before but I didn't know that this it will be 
so drastic yeah it's not changing it now what did we do last time then and strange but in any case I hope you understood what we are trying to do maybe maybe in the original case I have had a, a, I had a different cell here so basically this cell should always be if you want to minimize then it should always be this portfolio variance and this should always be the weights that you want to change and this should be sum of the weights being equal to so yeah now it's not giving a different result but i was surprised a little bit of puzzled as well but anyway so here we go so i hope you learned it uh, and and i hope you have uh, understood as well how to do this and how the principle works um i'll i'll probably repeat this with in, in class at some point during the next week or following week and we will do more practice and interestingly we, i'm running out of time now okay see you later